Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, Dylan Moore of our staff is outside right now, braving the uh, wintry conditions that are developing and bringing us these live pictures. Drive with caution, winter weather warning. The roads are going to get slick tonight, but there won't be any ice on the roads unless temperatures drop to freezing or less. And that's going to be hard to do with all the moisture laying around. And the fact that it was 84 degrees here on Monday, I was washing the dog Monday afternoon outside. And now look at this. And also, if you look at the Doppler radar, everything that we have in the coastal bend right now is all rain. But this is heavy rain in Oasis County. This is very heavy rain coming in from the southwest. And it's an indication of these pockets of instability that are on top of us with the jet stream that is uh, going to provide the lift that will produce some of the snow later tonight once the lower levels of the atmosphere cool off. But from Bishop to Kingsville, north and east, just to around Driscoll there on 77, headed right towards Corpus Christi, it's moving up from the southwest. That's a pretty heavy thunder shower with heavy rain in it. There's also another one that was forming back here along the rain snow line. It is snowing in San Antonio right now. And as you can see, this area of white back here in the hill country, watch over the last six hours, is expanding south in our direction. And this is going to continue through the evening hours. Should be in northern sections of the coastal bend around 10 o'clock and all the way through by 7 in the morning. By 7 in the morning, this will all be over with. This is going to be a big deal here overnight. And uh, that's why I'm standing here telling you about it right now. With the uh, heavier rain in Oasis County uh, here in the next 30 to 45 minutes, and that's all because of this frontal boundary that's in here. This is a secondary surge of colder air coming in. And this, in combination of what's going on in the upper atmosphere, is going to make it snow here overnight and tomorrow. And some of it will accumulate. Arctic air is coming in behind this. And uh, it's going to move out quickly. But it's going to be with us overnight and during the day tomorrow. Because of this big drop in the jet stream that we talked about last week and this upper level low. Now, back in 2004, when we had the most snow ever recorded here on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning, the low came out of Mexico. So this is further north, so it won't be that much, but it will accumulate in some spots as temperatures drop. There's the moisture right there in blue. That's what's got to come through us. There's a jet stream over the top of us. That's why we're seeing the heavy rain. So this scenario is out. We got that now, but overnight we're going to see the atmosphere cool off to where it's going to be snow going into warm air, briefly melting, and then changing to flurries or sleet. And then as that process continues, the atmosphere continues to cool off because of evapotranspiration going on. And then it changes all to snow because this little warm air layer at the surface goes away. So we're going to see some accumulating snow here tonight. This is just absolutely amazing. It's showing up on the future tracker as rain, starting as snow up to the northwest about 10 o'clock tonight. And then in the middle of the night, I think there's going to be a lot of people that don't get a lot of sleep. But the middle of the night through about 6 in the morning along the coast, that's when we're going to see the rain change over to snow and accumulate. And then the sun will be out and it will all be gone here tomorrow afternoon. So that is the situation. Here is the forecast then for the next seven days. And it looks like this. And a wintry one tonight, 34 will be the low. So some of this is going to melt, obviously, on the ground. 51 on the high tomorrow afternoon. 66 on Saturday after hitting 33 Saturday morning. Then 38 and 68 Sunday. And believe it or not, we'll be back to 70 degrees with sunshine by Monday of next week. Priscilla, Lee.